Hey guys, it's Snowing W. Today I'm going to show you how I recondition my leather jacket. Now this is my 16 plus year old leather jacket and every eight months or so it starts drying out like that. It starts turning gray. Now after you condition it, it looks back to normal and it looks great. Super smooth, super supple. And that's how you want to do it before it starts actually cracking, especially like the piping and stuff. So if you look at that, it's gray versus a deeper uh, walnut color, which is nice. Now it's not greasy at all. Just have to make sure it dries and I'll show you how I do it. So the Lexol all purpose or all uh, leather deep conditioner, this is why I usually use every eight months. You basically try it out on a place where you can't see it and you know, basically make sure you know if that product is actually any good. Um, then you basically put on a, a, a microfiber towel and then you just let it soak it in for a little bit. I let it soak in for less than a minute. In fact, I just rub this thing on. And then um, any excess, I rub off with a microfiber towel. But of course, I keep it nice and uh, moist. So now if you really care about your leather jacket, you should probably bring it to a professional, have it cleaned as well as professionally conditioned. For myself, I've been DIYing this for the past, what, 15, 16 years. So I usually clean the leather first by moistening a microfiber towel with very warm water, making sure it's just moistened. And I do a quick wipe down of all the areas that might get dirty. In fact, I wipe out the entire jacket. Then, then I basically use the conditioner after it all dries and then condition it. And that's how I do it. Now, definitely you want to make sure you um, definitely shake that bottle. So all the oils and stuff is there. Then I work on one panel at a time as well as the detailing of, let's say the zippers as well as the piping. But I do it one panel at a time because I want to stay consistent. So same amount of dab for, for each panel. So, I try to get it so that there's no seams. So if it's one layer, one panel of leather, I try to, you know, just work on that one panel first. Then I go back on any of the small detailing that's around it. So you can see the shoulder parts, I'm gonna work on that as well. But on the collars and stuff, I'm gonna need another dab just for the collars and the piping so it absorbs. You notice that I don't leave any of the product there to absorb like how the instruction says. I basically just put enough so that it's, you know, moistened. So it starts absorbing. I go over this about twice. So I usually do, you know, two layers of this. Basically wipe on, let it soak for a little bit, then wipe back, you know, then, you know, keep on going. Now for the shoulders, again, single panel. I want to work on one plane at a time. So at one piece of the leather at a time. So I'm only working on the top part of that shoulder and just putting this, um, <laughs> as you can see, it's actually absorbing a lot more. So this drier part will absorb a lot more of that uh, leather conditioner. But at the same time, you want to put a quick coat. You don't want to leave that leather conditioner on too long because you don't want one area to be a little darker yeah. than the other. But what I usually do is I do multiple coats in certain areas so that have been more worn so that it's a lot more consistent throughout. Now for the underarm, that flexes a lot. You want to make sure that's hydrated with or supple. So you got to add some more conditioner to the um, underarm area where it flexes a lot or even where your elbow lands or where the piping is. A lot of the areas where you wear your jacket a lot, it's going to show a lot more of discoloration or just getting drier uh, that you want to basically add some suppleness to it, some more um, conditioner on there so that it stays flexible and also looks a little better instead of looking really dry and stuff. So again, working on each panel, working on the detailing. I don't want, you know, uh, I want to make sure every panel is consistent and now for the back, it's basically the same thing. I'm basically adding, starting with the piping, just to get that area done. Then I start work on each panel at a time. Um, the collar as well too. Just want to make sure I wipe down a little bit. Again, you're seeing, you don't see me goop or put a lot of this stuff in one area. I want to make sure it's just a nice fine layer on top of it. So I can also add a little bit more um, to keep the color consistent or the amount of uh, darkening consistent. It, like I said, it does darken a little. So after it dries, it lightens up a little bit more, but overall it stays a little darker before. So you might want to go back on the second day and just make sure it's nice and consistent. Make sure you check on the problem areas that have been, are much drier, like the shoulders and give it another coat. The more coats, it gets darker. So be aware of that. So like I said, this usually works on like thicker leather, heavier leather, shoes, backpacks, that sort of stuff. And it will darken with the oils once it goes in there. So you probably don't want to use this on like a white leather or any other leather because I'm pretty sure it's going to darken it or so. But since I've been just using this for my brown leather jacket, so it looks darker like this, 
after it dries, you know, on a hanger, it's going to actually have a little bit lighter. So it's not always this dark. So always test it on an area where you could see it, let it dry for a day, make sure it looks right to you. Then you could go ahead if you want to go ahead and do it. Again, this is how it looks afterwards. It looks really good in terms of it's hydrated with oil now and it is smooth. There's no um, letting it dry for a day. There's nothing. It feels super smooth. It's not greasy or anything, which is good. Again, this product is meant for like car leather and furniture, shoes, bags, you know, that sort of stuff. But it's been working really well for my, you know, old leather jacket like this one. So it looks pretty much brand new again. And like I said, I've been doing this for over 15 years um, to keep this leather jacket up and running while cracking. And that's the best thing. Anyways, super smooth, pretty much like new again. And I just have to do this every few uh, months, every eight months or so. So from that gray back to that one. And when I hang it, I usually hang it with the uh, hanger reversed so that, you know, the front is actually straight. So there's no creases or anything or with some weird lines. I, like I said, I don't like letting it sit on the leather too long because I don't want any runoff or anything else kicking or anything else like that. So I try to wipe off the most as I can and just let the liquid stay there. So anyways, guys, this is Doing W. I hope this DIY was helpful, DIY was helpful to you and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching guys. Bye-bye.